Hey everyone, um, I thought I'd just give you guys a proper support on what I've been working on for Nizul Isle, which I'm trying to make it as retail accurate as uh, possible for DSP. Uh, when you enter the zone, obviously you get warped to this kind of lobby area. Right now, something that hasn't been completed yet is the temporary item, so this vending box doesn't do anything. But what does work is the Rune of Transfer. So, how the Rune of Transfer is supposed to work is you're supposed to be able to select a floor based on however far you've progressed, which my character's progressed up to floor 20. Um, what it needs to make sure happens is it needs to take tokens, which I have 5200 of, when you transfer floors. So I'll go ahead and select 16, take 600 tokens, and voila, I'm at 4600, cool. Um, so I got it transport, uh, transported to floor 16. It chooses a random layout and a random mission objective, which uh, in this case is eliminate enemy leader. Um, so how the floor layouts work is it'll spawn one of the 16 layouts, um, which have different types of mobs. Um, in this case, I'm on the Periton floor. Um, how kind of the mobs spawn is they'll spawn seven mobs, but then it'll spawn up to an additional five more depending on what floor you're on. Um, basically, the chance of spawning a monster is, uh, has a direct correlation to what floor you're on. So, the, if you're on a higher floor, you're more likely to get more monsters, uh, up to 12, uh, for the base anyways. The other thing that randomly spawns are up to two NMs with the archaic ramparts. In this case, we have Canero spawned. I'm not sure why that rampart is kind of invisible, but when it starts moving, it should show up. Kind of weird. but. It works. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill Canero. Uh, I do think this is tuned a little bit high, so I'll probably lower the health a bit. But when you kill Canero, you should I should get a random Nizual weapon, which I have the killer bow. Cool. So the objectives are also determined randomly. Um, and oops, I read. In this case, it's eliminate. Uh, I think it was an enemy leader. Was that right? Yes, so I have to go find where it spawns on this floor, and it spawns a random enemy leader. In this case, the ginger custard spawned, so I'll kill it real quick. And I should be able to teleport to the next floor. So I get my message objective complete, and we are able to go up the floor. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and in this case, uh, it has a, an opportunity to go left or right. Um, what's supposed to trigger here is you could get a random buff or debuff. And right now the debuffs and buffs are not coded. That and um, the debuffs and buffs and the, the question mark items as well as the temporary items are still things I have to work on. Okay, so uh, activate all lamps floor. Um, I can go around and show you that the lamps exist, but this is typically something that um, needs more than one person. So I think I'll probably just use my cheaty GM command, which is I think complete Nizul floor. All right. So you saw there's a lamp though. Um, I'm not gonna deal with it though, and just go to the next floor. Cause that could, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Specified enemies. In this case, it seems to be ebony puddings. Um, the monsters that are supposed to spawn for the objectives do spawn. How the specified enemies work is there's up to five, but at least two, of either pudding, psych flares, kickerins, imps, I can't remember them all. Um, but again, the higher up you go on the floors, the more likely you are to get more monsters. So you will get at least two. So this is the third. And I've got the objective complete, so we'll go to the next uh, area. Alright. 
What is the object? Oh! Okay, eliminate all enemies. So, again, just need to kill all the enemies that show up on this floor. Which I do not see any of yet. So this is the same floor that I was just on. I'm gonna. I, I apparently I have an issue with this. Um, this is just a bug that I still need to work through. Basically, um, if some monsters were up on the previous floor and you try and it tries to spawn them again, uh, it basically doesn't. So just a small bug that I need to work through. But uh, I think all that I need to do to fix it is to add a wait in between the command to despawn the monsters from the previous floor and spawn the monsters on the new floor. So, sorry about that bug, but shit happens. Floor 20 should be a blast floor, though. And we have Behemoth, so... Um, obviously we're in the right arena. Um... Got a killer bow. Unfortunately, we didn't get lucky on the drop. Um, oops, you know, sometimes you get Goliard, uh, or whatever feat, but it isn't a guaranteed drop rate. Um, it does select one of the three randomly, not all, or it won't ever give you more than one, but the drop rate is 50%. Alright, next floor, what do we got? Okay, lamps again. Lamps typically require more than one person, so I'm just going to complete it. Wow, got lamps again. These do all have an equal amount of uh, chance to... You can either get all enemies or lamps or whatever, but they each have an equal, equally likely chance to get them. So this time around we get the all enemies. Um, I'll probably try and keep going until... Uh, we at least get like a specified enemy because I think that's the last thing that we need to get. I, I suppose we could still get a free floor. The free floor chance is 1 in 16. Um, so, you know, I, I don't really know. Alright, again, trying to make it retail accurate, it's not super likely. But it does occasionally show up. Looks like we have a Leech King, so we should get another randomizable weapon. Which we do, and that also completes the floor. Sweet. So all eliminate all enemies does work, just <laughs> as long as they actually show up. Okay, so what do we got here? Eliminate enemy leader, and we have, there's a, a chance of spawning gears, I think I set it to 1 in 50, er, sorry, 1 in 5. Um, but the enemy leader, oh, is right there. So, with any luck, well, oh, that's specified enemies again. I'd like to go far enough that we could get the uh, um, specified enemy. Okay, apparently this time it's like flares. And it was just two. So I'm going to keep going. Um, oh, and we actually did get a free floor. Lamps. Not going to deal with that. I'm hoping that... Okay, there's the specified enemy. Excellent. So one of these uh, monsters should um, check as impossible to gauge. 
Um, there is a notorious monster right there. Um, how this works is, of the the twelve enemies that normally show up on the floor, it'll it, it sets the the flag for one of them to be a notorious monster. So it doesn't spawn any new enemies or. Um, I can create a monster, it just uses what's already available. Just like in Old Nice Wool. And there is the impossible to gauge one. And I'm gonna go ahead and complete the objective. Um, So, I should have a couple things. First off, I should have more tokens, which I do, 7350. Seems about right for over 10 floors. Um, I don't think I can... Or I can't actually enter Nizul again, because I have to go back and get the, the key items to enter, so I'm just going to teleport back in. Not set position. Okay. And since I have gone farther, I now have progress up to floor 26. Because I did make it to floor 25. Which is cool. It works as it should. So, um, things that I still need to do. Um, well, I haven't had been able to test the lamps because I'm only, on, I'm only hosting it from a local server. Um, the question mark items and uh, temporary items are not in yet. Um, I'm not sure if DSP is set up to uh, be able to do that, but hopefully it'll work. Um, the the buffs and debuffs that you get from gears and from traveling up floors occasionally still need some work. And I do have that error where monsters uh, occasionally don't spawn because they're already up. Which, I think I have a fix for that, but I just haven't implemented it yet. Um, and... That's a about all of Nizul, honestly. Um, hope you guys are excited about, you know, getting some new content, hopefully. Um, see you guys later.